Okay, so welcome back, friends. Um, we're going to do uh, a reading today, and it's going to be, um, is this the right relationship for me? Okay, I'm going to be using playing cards. I'm going to use them as tarot cards. Um, the spread that I'm actually using came from 365 Tarot Spreads by Sasha Graham. I love Sasha Graham. Um, at any rate, uh, this one is for the date of April 14th, if you want to look it up, if you have the book, okay? So we're going to have, um, I mean, you can think about any person. You could do multiple people because uh, maybe you're in multiple relationships. Uh, you know, some of us uh, do that from time to time for whatever reasons. I'm not judging. All right. So um, choice one is going to be uh, this lipstick and the unicorn deck. Choice two is going to be this lipstick and the favelay deck. Choice three is going to be this lipstick and um, the frosted deck. Choice four is going to be this lipstick and the pandemonium deck. And choice five is going to be this lipstick and the hidden deck. Okay. I'm going to give uh, everyone time to look at the choices. <laughs> Um, I want to thank everyone that has subscribed thus far. If you haven't subscribed already, please just go ahead and subscribe, babies. Let's make it official between me and you. Um, also, I was I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I might do that later. I'm not going to do that in this reading. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm quite sure we've given everyone enough time to figure out which group you want to go with. So let's go on and start with uh, group one. And let's see, is this the right relationship for you? So I'm quite sure you guys can hear that I sound like at least 80% better. <clears throat> it's been a, um, a little rough. I've been having a hard time getting rid of um, my congestion. And also, like I said, I have really bad allergies. I usually go in and get an antibiotic, but I wasn't going in nowhere with COVID going around the way it is. So... Right, let me fix this screen. All right, so let's get started. It's going to be five questions. You ready? Let's go. Are you hiding in your relationship from other people? And this is, um, are you in a relationship so people don't have to look at you, you know, so some someone else can be a focal point besides just you? And what we have is the Eight of Swords. So maybe you are, um, maybe you feel a little trapped in life. Maybe you feel like you can't go where you want to go or do what you need to do. And maybe this relationship um, allows you to feel like you're free because they're free to move around. Um, I'm going to pull an additional card for this one. Please send me my eight of Swords here. Pentacles. Hmm. 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 Let me think about this. So, <clears throat> I kind of feel like, okay, so in love relationships, when I, well, in love readings, when I see the Seven of Pentacles, I usually think like this is a solid relationship. Uh, you've planted seeds, it's, it's growing the way it should, you know. Uh, you know, it's not going to burn out quickly. Um, with the question being, are you hiding in your relationship from other people? I don't think you are. I think that, um, you may have been trapped either in another relationship or another way of thinking. And this relationship has allowed you to grow as a person. So no, I don't feel like you're hiding in this relationship. I feel like this relationship is helping you to grow. Okay, the next question is, are you hiding anything from your partner? Sometimes we're hiding things and we are aware of it. And sometimes our trauma is so deep, we don't realize what we're doing. Okay, so let's see. Are you hiding anything from your partner? Yes. <clears throat> so we have the, the um, nine of cups. I believe some of you may have um, substance uh, abuse issues. Also, um... Some of you are narcissists and you're hiding that from your partner. Um, some of you are clearly just hiding the fact that this partner is your wish come true because of your ego. You don't want to let them know that. And um, some of you are hiding the fact that you're just not satisfied. 
you may be growing, but you're not satisfied. It's like, and it's like they're going out of their way and they're doing a lot for you, but you're just not satisfied. And I only take it in all those different ways because the Nine of Cups um, has a lot of different meanings. Okay, so we're going to um, leave it as all of those because there's a lot of different people watching this. Okay, all right, so. Do you ask your partner to resolve issues that you should resolve on your own? Sometimes we do that. Sometimes we blame them for shit that we should do. Okay. I don't think that you do. <clears throat> I do feel like with the Eight of Pentacles being here, I do feel like the two of you work together in this um, relationship. So work in progress and you put in a lot of hard work. So no, I don't think you do that. Um, have you completely lost yourself in the other person? What's that? This is tricky because the Six of Cups is about familiarity or soulmates. Uh, it could be that you've lost yourself in this person because um, this kind of denotes two people being very similar. Um, let, me, let me please give me one more to help me to understand. Are they losing themselves in the other person? No. You're two separate entities. You may, you know, but you all are very close. And I believe maybe some people feel like you've lost your identity in them. Maybe because you're so much alike. Okay. Um, what is the level of drama in this relationship? Honey, there's a lot of drama in this fucking relationship. Um, the two of you are left. It doesn't look like y'all are fighting each other, but it looks like y'all are fighting the outside world. Okay. Um. There's a little mosquito, a little gnat or something in my room trying to kill it. Sorry, guys. Um, do you inspire each other to be better? No. Um, there's something wrong with this relationship. And I'm seeing a pattern seven, seven, nine, nine, eight, eight. There is something really wrong with this relationship. Please tell me why it's the Nine of Swords here. Alright. So, one of you, I believe, is a wanderer. In the sense that, I don't think... One of you is not just dealing with just the other person. Or both of you. It could be both of you. Um... Damn. Somebody's cheating. Or both. So, you know, y'all don't inspire. It's it's like, um, because somebody is hella distraught by the cheating in this relationship. Okay? Um. So maybe that's what you're learning. That's what you're, maybe that's why y'all are putting so much work in it. Because you know somebody's a cheater. Okay? Um. Do you make enough time for each other? No. It's like y'all are always on the go. Um, do you feel respected by your partner? Wow. I'm going to say no. The Joker came out. I'm going to say no, you don't. Are your needs being met? No. Okay. So after looking at all of this... This is interesting to me now. Am I hiding anything from my partner? And we have the Nine of Cups. I think it's that you're dissatisfied. And maybe you're the one that's cheating. Um, because you're not being respected. Um, and because they're always gone. I, that's exactly what it's starting to look like. It looks like your partner is always gone or your partner just isn't there. They just don't pay enough attention to you. And you're seeing other people at this point because you just really feel like the relationship is at a loss. You're not getting what you need and it's just out of control. Okay? Well, we're just going to leave it at that. Alright? So, if you enjoyed the reading group one, please feel free to leave a thumbs up. Um, also, feel free to leave uh, comments, good and or bad, as always. And we're going to move right on into group two, which is going to be 
the Favale deck. This is a, a collector's deck. I usually keep it in the box. I don't fool with it too much, but I like the deck. Felt like using it today, so group twos go for it. And you know what, guys? I was just thinking, I was going to say group five. I was going to do for me group five, but I think I'm going to switch to four. Not that y'all really give a shit, but I just thought about it. Okay, so let's get started, group two. All right, let's see what's going on. Are you hiding in your relationship from other people? So are you using this relationship to uh, keep people from knowing who you really are as an individual? So we have the Six of Swords. Possibly. Um, it seems like uh, you've had um, a very hard life, very hard times. And um, you're using this relationship as a way to escape something else. So I'm going to say yes. All right. Are you hiding anything from your partner? Yes. This is another, um, either, either you're still sad and missing a, a partner that you had before, or you have another partner and you're just hiding that. Okay. Um, do you ask your partner to resolve issues that you should be resolving yourself? Okay. Yes. Um, there are things, I say that because this is a card about responsibility, okay? The King of Pentacles is responsible, okay? He takes care of his family. The question was, um, are you uh, asking people to resolve things you should resolve on your own? So it's like, are you responsible? Yes, you are responsible for issues and you are asking um, someone else to resolve it, okay? So I'm going to need you to step up and start uh, handling the problems that you have created or the things that you can you could fix on your own instead of uh, bugging them, okay? Um, have you completely lost yourself in the other person? I'm betting no. No. Uh, no, no. You're holding on to your own identity, okay? What is the level of drama in this relationship? It's a lot. <clears throat> it's in this melodrama. It's sad. Um, somebody is left feeling extremely lonely and trapped. Okay. Um, do you inspire each other to be better? No. This is a um, competitive relationship. It is filled with strife and arguments. Okay. So no, you don't inspire each other to do better. Do you make enough time for each other? I'm going to say no. The only reason why I say that is because the King of Wands. Woo! Ooh, y'all, this deck just flew all the way across the room. Mm, I don't think he liked that. Make sure I get all my cards. <coughs> the King. Okay, let me, let me get back to what I was saying. The, uh, the King of Wands is um an extremely oh my God. damn I lost my spread guys sorry um changeable yeah he's very changeable um creative damn it now though I had to pause for a second the cars flew across the room and I lost my spread hold on one second okay so the king of wands uh tends to have a lot to do with um, changeability, creativity, things like that, right? And the question is, what is the question? I'm sorry, guys. Um, do you make enough time for each other? Uh, how do I feel about that? I don't think you do because I, I just kind of feel like the king of wands is restless he needs to be on the go he needs to be you know doing lots of new things keeping himself inspired and it makes me feel like if you're doing all that no you're not making time enough time for each other okay and let's ask do you feel respected by your partner i'm sorry that this reading was so laggy and choppy i apologize but as i was shuffling and those cards flew across the room i you know it threw me off okay do you feel respected by your partner I'm saying no, and I feel like it's the way they talk to you. It's a communication card. I just feel like the way they talk to you is out of line, and it bothers you. Are your needs being met? This is interesting because we have 
the um, Knight of Cups, okay? Which is totally um, a flirty card, okay? But because it's the Knight, it makes me think, no, your needs, needs are not being met. It feels like um, this person is uh, flirting with you. They're giving you lip service. They're telling you what you want to hear. But you're actually really just unhappy and unsatisfied. So, um... See, I got a nine of cups on the bottom of the deck for this one, too. No, no, you're not satisfied. And I feel like you're doing other things to, um, like, self-medicating um, to deal with the um, sorrow of it all, the sadness of it all. Okay? So, that's going to um, conclude group twos. If you like the reading, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And we're going to move right on into group three. Hopefully, group threes will run a little smoother than group twos. I don't know, but when I was shuffling group two cards, they just flew all the way across the room. I'm going to tell you guys that I see a joker as I'm um, shuffling this one. I kind of feel like there might be some surprises or some um, alternating energy in your reading. Let's see, okay? Are you hiding in your relationship from other people? So are you using your relationship as a way to mask who you are, okay? Yes. I knew that joker was coming back out. Yeah, now, y'all saw me talking about it, right? Yes. Yes, you are. Mask on all day, every day, okay? You do not want people to know who you really are. And this relationship is another um, way for you to keep people from seeing you for you, okay? Um, the second one is, uh, are you hiding anything from your partner? Yes. Um, you're absolutely hiding another partner. Been a lot of cheating in these. Very well. Could be about a beard. Um, this could be about you having a relationship with a woman because you don't want people to know who you really are. Okay? Um, and maybe not. It just could be that you're hiding another partner. Okay? Or it could be that you're hiding... The, um, that you're a very cold person, okay? But I'm betting on you're hiding another lover, a uh, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? Or that you're hiding your um, sexuality, all right? Um, do you ask your partner to resolve issues that you should resolve on your own? I don't think you do. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, we have the communication card. It makes me feel like... You two actually do communicate through the problems, so I'm going to say no on that one, okay? Have you completely lost yourself in the other person? I'm betting no, but yeah. no. I, I, I know there's a definite separation between the two of you, even um, repelling energy. This is like fighting strife um, competition, okay? Uh, the next one is, what is the level of drama in this relationship? Now, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now, I'm going to tell you. The drama in this relationship is new, but it's big as fuck, and it's just starting, okay? And I'm also saying that you're bringing the drama to the game because this is a gift, okay? And it's like you handed out this gift of drama, okay? Um, do you inspire each other to be better people? Yes. So maybe there's a friendship bond between the two of you. Um... Do you make enough time for each other? No. Um, it's like y'all are juggling so many things. So, no. You know, they just got to take what they can get. It's just the way it goes between the two of you. Um, do you feel respected by your partner? No. You feel like they're cheating? Actually, so, I, that's very interesting because I feel like um, you're cheating. Well, maybe they're cheating too. Maybe they were cheating first now that I see this, okay? And are your needs being met? So I'm guessing no. No. No, they're not. 
And you kind of feel like you're in a relationship for the sake of being in a relationship. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups, which means you two may be staying together due to familiarity. It's like, uh, y'all been, you know, like when people say, well, um, he's the only man I've ever known. Or men say, which, well, you know, she's the only woman I ever loved. And I don't want this. I don't want that. And that's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Y'all are just holding on to each other because you've become comfortable even though this is a shit relationship okay wake up get out the shit relationship if it doesn't sound like your relationship then pick another group okay but i'm betting that if you pick this group you recognize everything that i just said and if you don't pick another group because sometimes even i pick the wrong group when i'm doing pick the cards it happens to all of us okay especially with all the stress that's going on right now okay our minds are everywhere so i hope you've enjoyed this reading group three if you did please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and let's get into group four this is gonna be my group okay it's a special deck to me i got this deck for free uh <laughs> from walgreens so i consider it a universal uh like the universe gifted me this deck and anybody that reads cards knows that gifted decks are supposed to hold more power than purchased decks, okay? So let's get started, friends. Let's get it going. Are you hiding in your relationship from other people, okay? So are you using this relationship to hide your own identity, okay? No. This is a relationship of soulmates, okay? It's a relationship of people that uh, had interest in each other either when they were very young or you have soul ties. Most likely, probably both. Uh, probably the two of you made some sort of contract with each other before coming to this this realm, okay? And uh, so you probably knew each other when you were younger, so there's some level of familiarity. But uh, the moment that you two start dealing with each other, you can immediately tell that you two are meant... Uh, to date each other to be together to love each other this is something that you planned on okay are you hiding anything from your partner yes <clears throat> let me tell you what you're hiding what you're hiding is is you feel like you're kind of just going through the motions and it's 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 not a real win it's like <clears throat> you two are in love but you don't really feel like it's okay. This card is about fighting for the sake of fighting, but not really winning. So it, it kind of feels like you're in the relationship with them, and it kind of feels like y'all love each other, but you still don't feel like you're in a winning position. Okay. Um, do you ask your partner to resolve issues that you should resolve when you're on? Okay. Are you asking them to fix shit? You should fix yourself. No. Uh, you may be carrying the majority of the burden yourself. Um, this card says to me, maybe you need to start asking your partner to start uh, resolving some issues, okay? Instead of you trying to do it all yourself. Alright, because this is a partnership. It's not just for you to fix, okay? Um, have you completely lost yourself in the other person? Now, we have a joker here. <clears throat> I can't say yes and I can't say no. I kind of feel like um, it depends on how you look at it. It depends on the person. Let's pull an additional card and let's see. Are they completely lost in the other have they lost themselves in the other person no no this is a healthy stable relationship um just i think you have walls it's maybe time for you to break down your walls okay um what is the level of drama in this relationship okay so we have a seven of swords now let me take <clears throat> Seven of Swords says to me that there's drama, but it's secret drama, okay? Seven of Swords says to me that the drama in this relationship is that you two are fucking sneaking around. This is a secret relationship. This is why you're carrying an unhealthy portion of the burden. And this is why you don't feel like you're winning, okay? Um, do you inspire each other to be better? Yes. You inspire each other to go to new heights, to reach out for new horizons, to, to see the world as an opportunity, okay? Um, do you make enough time for each other? Joker again, guys. God damn. This, okay, so I'm going to tell you. We got both Jokers in this. We also have the King of Pentacles. Something else I'm going to tell you about this relationship. This relationship's 
offers an opportunity for the two of you to come into some money together. There's some serious luck and money between the two of you. I don't think I don't think y'all have figured out how to work it yet, though. Okay. Um, and I think one of the issues may be you don't spend enough time together, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Let me try again. Do we make enough time for each other? Not, no. No. Uh, right now, you all are battling the world separately, okay? Um, and you need time to <laughs> catch your breath. Uh, th this is a complex relationship, okay? Um, do you feel respected by your partner? Yes. You feel totally loved and totally respected, okay? And are your needs being met? Now, this is going to be a, tri a tricky one because this relationship is um, full of love, full of respect, but y'all are sneaking and somebody is carrying a heavier weight. So, I don't know if your needs are being met or not, but I'm, I'm doubting it. But let's see. Are my needs being met? No. No. Because of your person being with um, the other person. Also, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Jack of Knights. Well, I mean, the Knight of... Um, Knight of Swords, okay? Uh, there needs to be some heavy communication going on. There's something that you need to say. Uh, and you need to be blunt with it. Like, you, you need to be blunt. Let me see. Yeah, they need to leave. They need to make a decision. They need to communicate that. And you all need to be moving forward now. Um, All this other shit, this dilly-dallying, it's, it's, it's not healthy, okay? Um, and there's an opportunity for you all, you know, to be very prosperous. But the other person is like they're stuck, but they're just not making a move yet, okay? Um, yeah, your other party needs to make a move, okay? And you need to tell them they need to make a move, all right? So, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. All right, and we're going to move into the last group, right, which is group number five, the hidden deck. All right, this is a deck I really like, and I never use it much, but check, check, check it out. All right, dope. All right, let me give you guys a, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I still got a little bit of a dry cough, but as y'all can tell, it's not bad anymore, so I'm grateful for that. And plus, I did a lot of talking. Been on here for 30 minutes, and that's a long time for me, because y'all know I usually do like 12-minute videos. I'd also like to note that this reading is actually on page 222 of the book. That's a, um, uh, angel number from, uh, most of you, but for me it's a special number because I was born at 222 on the 11th, another two. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get into your reading. Are you hiding in your relationship from other people? So are you using this relationship as some sort of a cloak to keep people from knowing who you really are? Uh, no. No. But I do believe... That you're using um, the relationship to take you to different places, okay? Are you hiding anything from your partner? Yes, you are. I don't know what it is exactly, but you hide something big. Let's see. Can you just... Ooh. No, I'm going to take that back. I think you're planning on leaving your partner. Let's dig a little further before I say that. Do you ask your partner to resolve issues you should resolve on your own? Things you can fix on your own? Yes. And it's very hurtful. Um, there are things uh, I think that the both of you are doing, expecting the other person to fix it when it's a two-person or could be a three-person problem. But yes, we're just going to say yes. Okay? Have you completely lost yourself in the other person? No. 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 Um, well, still with my original, I think that you're using this person to get to other places. You plan on leaving once you get to where you want to. And to me, I feel like this card is saying the same thing. Like, no, you're not because, um, you're lost in the money. You're not lost in anything else. Put money. Okay. Um, what is the level of drama in this relationship? And we have an eight of pentacles. Okay. Mm, you know. Not no drama. It's just a bunch of work. Just a bunch of work. No drama. Just money and work, okay? Um, do you inspire each other to be better? Yes. 
You do. Uh, there is a level of familiarity and kinship. Also, uh, care. Okay? So, there's care here, but it's... It's just not a traditional uh, romantic connection, okay? Um, do you make enough time for each other? We have a joker, friends. Um, guess could be yes, could be no, but let's see why is the joker here. No. One of you is constantly with your head in the clouds about what you want, what you don't have yet. Or it's like it's like you have so much, but you don't even reach out for it. Okay, so no, you're not making enough time because you're spending your time uh, scheming on what else you could have, daydreaming about the next thing you could have. Okay, or they are. It could be either one of you. Maybe that's why it's the Joker. It could be either one of you, or it could be both of you. Okay. Um, do you feel respected by your partner? No, you don't. You feel like uh, you need to protect yourself from your partner. And that doesn't mean your partner is actually shitty or trashy, but you feel uh, beat up and you feel like you need to protect yourself, okay? And are your needs being met? That's interesting because we have a yes. Yes, your needs are being met. So I kind of feel like maybe... Okay, so we have the queen of pence on the bottom here. <sighs> okay, I feel like your needs are being met, but here's the problem. You are caught up in the material world, okay? And because you're so focused on money and belongings, right? You're not realizing what you have in front of you, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed that reading in group five. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad, and that's going to conclude tonight's reading. I hope everyone enjoyed the reading. I tried to give you some real content, kind of long content, because I haven't been on here in a while. But I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope everyone is staying hydrated. Please drink a lot of water so that your body can um, fight off anything that uh, comes in its way. Not just COVID. It is, um, people are still catching the flu. It is allergy season, you know. Let's let's take care of ourselves. Make sure you take your medications, especially those of you that have allergies. Please take your allergy medicine daily, and um, drop a line on here. Let me know you're okay. All right, okay. Love you guys. See you in the next reading. Bye.